again so hi guys welcome back to my channel i just took my hair off camera actually first of all i just woke up i took a nap it's like uh maybe two o'clock in the afternoon i took a nap and i woke up and i was like i have to do this right now anyway so um today I just took my hair out of the style that it was in. I'll put a picture up. I didn't make a video of me doing that style. I took a picture. Um, of, oh, sorry, I'll put a picture up of the style I'm talking about. It's on my Instagram, but I'll put one up for you too. Uh, so today I am about to try a bunch of Turkish products that I got. I'll show you. I tried to find Shea Moisture and like regular natural girl, black girl products that everyone knows or, you know, recommended products. But I didn't find them in the store that I went to. Actually, in the mall that I went to. So at first I went around like Harmidori, which is uh, where I am in. Istanbul right, Istanbul right now and then I went to Mamar Park the mall around Haramidere and I didn't find what I was looking for so I think I'm going to have to order like my regular products online but I'm going to show you guys what I got and I'm going to tell you guys how it worked for me so I'm doing a pre-pull video I guess we'll be reviewing the pre pool um, product that I got. Um, I, let's see, I might do a, a wash leaving. I might do a wash condition. I might do a wash day routine. I'm not sure because I don't like my friend's bathroom doesn't really have a place to put my phone camera, which is what I use. So, um, yeah, we'll see how that goes, but for sure you're getting a pre pool video. And I'm going to, I'm obviously going to show you guys all the things that I got from the store that I found. It's in Mamra Park for anyone that lives around this area that's trying to figure out where to get like products. Um, first, I got this Urban Care Expert Series. Hair plus scalp sea salt peeling pre shampoo new tea tree and lemon everything else is in Turkish <laughs> so urban care uh, I can't read from the camera but yeah this is it I also got this shampoo this um, love beauty and planet I don't know if you can see uh, love, <laughs> uh, love, beauty, and planet. Ar Argan, Argan, don't know. Argan oil and lavender, smooth and serene shampoo, calming definition for frizzy hair, and acts of love for our planet. Apparently, this product selling point is that it's vegan, and I think even the it's cruelty free and vegan and the product the bottle is made from 100% re recycled plastic i think that's where like the the selling point is from or is or i don't know um so yeah but this one because of all the shampoos and everything that i found i think this one was the only one that didn't have sulfate so it's vegan it's cruelty free it's 98% biodegradable Gradable formula. It has organic. Hold on, I think I need to get this up the bottom. Um, okay. What's that? Um, uh, this thing. I'm trying to get it off the bottom so I can read this one. Aha. Uh -huh. So it has organic coconut oil. Although coconut oil is heavy for my hair, apparently, because 
I found out that I have low porosity hair, as I said in the last video, so I'm I'm avoiding like oils that are too heavy. Um, well, this says it has organic coconut oil, natural argan oil, ethically sourced lavender with a plant-based cleanser. It's safe for colored hair. It has no silicones, no parabens, no colorants, and no guilt. <laughs> no guilt is actually written on the bottle. Uh, I don't know if you can see. No, it's too small. Um, so yeah, this shampoo is what I got. Love, Beauty, and Planet. I also got the conditioner. The conditioner doesn't say Love, Beauty, and Planet, but it has like a symbol. So uh, I don't know if you can see. Love, Beauty, and Planet. This one is Tea Tree Oil and Vetiva. I've never heard of Vetiva. I don't know what it is. Delightful Detox Conditioner. Purification for tired hair and acts of love for our planet. It's vegan. Same thing, no this, no that. Same thing. It's the same product. But I got, um, for the sh for the conditioner, I got tea tree oil and vetiva just to try that out. No, I was drawn to the tea tree, um, but I wanted to try a different um, shampoo. One, a diff and I also want an argan oil, so... Yeah, um, then I also got, I got this organic shop, I don't know if you can see, uh, oh, the light is good, um, yeah, organic shop Moroccan argan and amla, natural nourishing hair mask. It's 98% origin, natural origin of total. There's something on the bottle that says soil association natural, cosmos natural. So, but yeah, uh, it apparently won National Health International Beauty Awards for 2018. But yeah, this is a hair mask. So I got this as well and then i got um so for my hair i found out that um grapefruit oil argan oil and sweet almond oil are good for low processing hair so i bought those three so i bought urban care hair care series pink grapefruit and ginger uh, i don't know if you can see So yeah, uh, argan oil, uh, pink grapefruit and ginger oil. And then I bought Bee Beauty, um, argan oil from Bee Beauty. Oops, okay, yeah, so that's it, Bee Beauty. And then I also got this sweet almond oil from Life In. Yeah, it was really hard to like buy these things because everything in the shop, everything in the shop is in Turkish, and I don't understand Turkish yet. I'm still learning. I know a few words in another video. I'll probably like talk about those words, but yeah. Um, I bought this class ring, this ring, <laughs> as well uh, from Life In. Let me open the bottle just in case. Uh, okay. So this is what it looks like. Glycerin. Yeah, so uh, those were the things I found and got. So let's start with the people with the uh, open care tea tree, some 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 that I said earlier. Uh, my hair is, you know, I think it's been in the style for like a few days. It's a bit, you know, tangled. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'm going to do like four sections. Four sections. 
and I'm doing the sectioning with my hands because I don't really like trust the comb with my hair right now in this state you know uh, I must say that like my hair has been healthier so I'm on I'm currently like on a journey to restore it to the best health because I, I think my hair can be healthier I think I need to do like a bunch of stuff but it's a journey and I'll carry you guys on along with me on it I think my hair is really resilient because resilient resilient because I think it's been through you know a lot this past couple months but we're going to bounce back and be even better than before Oops. so uh there we go i'm just trying to like put it in sections like i said So it's obvious that I can't really tell what's going on. Uh, I don't know. 
it feels dry like the pre pool treatment feels a bit dry I can't feel any moisture getting into my hair it feels dry it's not detangling as expected so I don't know I don't I don't even think that I want to continue and then the rock salts and it just keeps falling so I'm sure you can see all of this here it's like rock salts from the hair so I don't I don't really I don't know I don't even think that I want to continue my hair feels really dry so I think I'm going to try and use the mask to pre pull let's see how that works out for me um this American organic this one so let's see how that works Okay, so I have put the mask on three sections of my hair and because I want to know just how good the mask is, I am going to use, so I have some, it's really small, I'm going to use some leftover, I wonder if I can actually get it out of the bottle. Let's see. So I'm going to use this on like a small section of my hair. It's the Shea, Shea Moisture uh, Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Conditioner. I'm going to like put this leftover piece on a really small section of my hair to see how well this mask works because this product I'm used to and understand. So if it's as good, since the product is really small, I want like a really small section. Okay, so yeah. Uh, we have this small section for this small products uh, okay I just want to know cuz like I'm new to this <laughs> it's so little uh, okay that's better than hitting myself with the bottom Okay, so I just want to see how this makes my hair feel because 
um, this product I'm used to, like I said, and has been good for my hair. So I want to see if this compares well to this. And I think like that's something I'm going to be doing. So like I've used this, the, ne the next mask that I buy, I'm going to do a section of my hair with this and a section of my hair with the mask just to see how well like it compares. So this is really small Shea Moisture. Uh, I get some more. I like to saturate my hair with products. Like I, I like having enough product on my hair. This is the Shea Moisture. I like the way it makes my hair feel. I like how my hair feels. It feels really soft already. And bouncy. And like my curl definition looks good. So I'm not like biased. I'm going to do another small section with this product and then compare for you guys to see. So this is the one with the sheer moisture. It's bouncy. I used very little. I used very little. Of the product, so I'm going to twist this up. Okay. So this, so this is the one with the Shea Moisture. I'm going to take another section as small. Just as small. Okay, yeah, this is small enough. Okay, found you. Aha. So Shea Moisture. And this is the mask. And since like I didn't use a lot of the share moisture, I'm only using this much of the mask. I did some more. And this is the mask. This is the one with the mask uh, I think the difference is really clear <laughs> but I don't know if it's that I didn't use enough so let me add a little more with the mask and add this to this uh, I didn't use uh, the Shea Moisture Mask, I used the conditioner, the regular conditioner. So, there's a difference in that. And, okay. So, this is the mask. I don't think it's as bouncy as the Shea Moisture, but I think that's because, like, I'm biased. I really like Shea Moisture. The Jack the Jamaican black castor oil one because I've been using that for years like even when I take breaks and maybe 
it's it, like when in Nigeria it was too expensive and then I would take breaks and use something else I would like always find myself back to it because it was really good for my hair uh, so yeah this is the mask uh, I think it's it has curl definition as well I just don't know if I can compare it to this one especially since this one is like a conditioner and this is supposed to be a mask although I think that this is definitely softer but I think this holds its own as well I'm just I'm not really sure but I think like it holds its own but it's just I don't know let's see let's twist and see yeah this is definitely drier so this one was still like soft soft this one is a bit dry like while I'm trying to twist it it's a bit dry uh, so let's see So the one the same. This has like a wetter feel. I don't know if it's should, if it's because I just did it. This one is soft. It's not wet, but it's soft. This is like a heavier. Um. It's heavier. And it's a bit wet, so let's wait a bit. Um, I think I definitely prefer this one. But this like can be managed like when there's nothing else <laughs> maybe well not when there's nothing else because I don't know how this compares to like other products so I can't say when there's nothing else I can only see like compared to the sheer moisture this is it holds its own but it's not as good as this one so let's go back to uh, using the mask for the rest of my hair. Okay, so I'm done working the mask in and this is my hair after. I think I got like really good curl definition from the mask like I think my curls look really good really defined and the only thing is like combing through oops <laughs> combing through hasn't been as easy so I don't really know like where to rank this mask because I don't have a lot to compare it to. I only have the Shea Moisture JBCO to compare it to. So ranking to that, I don't think that it, it's, it's as great. Especially because I use like so much, like all of this. I've pretty much like almost reached, okay, maybe not half, but like one third. I don't know if you can see. But like I've pretty much used about a third of the um, container on my hair although to be fair my hair is really thick and really dense so it drinks a lot of product a lot of product I hope that didn't go in my eye 
anyway um so yeah this is you can uh, you can see my curls are popping like popping but um combing through isn't like so easy it's not hard compared to especially like from what my hair was before i started there was a lot of like gel it was um it was you know dry freezy but like right now it's damp and it's you know curls are popping i can comb through it might not like come out all like the comb might not come out so easily through the hair but then like my hair is really thick so i don't know if i if i have like too if my expectations are too high so yeah but this is what it looks like i'm going to twist this now and so yeah this is my pre pull routine for the day I'm going to do another routine where I mix the oils that I showed you that I got and I'm going to use that in an applicator bottle as soon as I can find one to buy and you do a pre pull with that and see how that works for my hair. So like I said, I'm still like experimenting. I'm just like taking you guys along my processes or my process. <laughs> You know just to like find out what works best for my hair I'm not going to give you guys like recommendations that are not good for me so okay so now that it's been sitting for a while this feels softer than this this feels dry this is still damp hmm. So this is still damp. This is soft, but it's dry. This is damp. And soft. It's actually kind of soft. So, yeah, that's that for the review. I'm not going to recommend this product. But then maybe I need to try, like, another pre-pool um, brand another brand's pre pull thing to see whether it leaves your hair dry i don't think it's supposed to leave your hair dry i think your hair's supposed to be damp but like i guess i wouldn't i wouldn't be using this product again i'm going to find another one to buy so yeah um i'm going to leave this on for like 15 minutes maybe and then i'm going to jump in the shower i don't think i'm going to do like a shampoo routine today because honestly making this video has taken one hour and 21 minutes so i think i'm just going to do that one sharp 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 and come out and yeah oh i did my nails today <laughs> i found this really pretty color and then i added this cute one here but yeah uh, so yeah thanks for watching i hope you guys learned something I'm going to tell you guys the benefits of pre pulling I'm not really sure right now, but I think it's supposed to detangle your hair and make it softer. And I think it's so that the shampoo isn't so harsh because your shampoo strips, well, some shampoos strip like your hair. So when you like do this before, it moisturizes your hair before you go in there with the shampoo. It's... Uh, I'm going to like write them down and put them in the video for you guys because I don't really know them right now. But I know it's good. I just don't know exactly why it's good. So I'm just going well, while I'm editing the video, I'm going to put like the a list of reasons why pre pulling your hair is good for your hair. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe and like <laughs> and um, yeah. Come back next time. <laughs> See you.